you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to talk about the middle ground debate under the capital structure debate yeah in the capital structure debate we had the traditional classical school of thought which said that the financing method can influence the value of the firm though it has costs that come with it then we had the neoclassical theory which said that the financing method cannot affect the value of the firm rather value comes from the assets of the firm invests in yeah but then the middle ground debate says that both the con both contributions are extreme both contributions of the traditional classical school of thought and the neoclassical theory they're all important the financing decision is important and the investment decision is important so the middle ground debate reconciles the two positions and it recognizes two fundamental aspects of debt financing the first aspect is that debt financing has a tax shield advantage debt is tax free it's not taxed and the second aspect is that Though debt has a tax shield advantage, debt brings about some associated costs with it, higgy agents costs and bankruptcy costs. Agents costs refers to the increasing cost of debt by implementing debt covenants by debt holders. Debt covenants is when the person who gives you the debt gives you rules on how you are supposed to use the money because they are scared that you might use the money for other things and they will not get what they're expecting so they give you debt covenants they give you rules on how you're supposed to use the money that they've given you bankrupt costs occurs when the firm is using more of debt than equity and when a company uses more of debt and equity they may have limited options for their future so they have chances of going bankrupt and that was all about the middle ground debate it reconciles the two positions of the traditional and the neoclassical theory yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends yeah bye bye